Hello, everyone. So this was um, um, a master lock that had to be cut. There's a good, pretty good story behind this, but uh, when I was learning lock picking, uh, word got around at my company that I knew how to open up locks, and people would approach me uh, to open up locks, uh, their own locks. You know, they left their key at home, and they need to get in their locker, and they didn't want to have it cut. Because that's usually what maintenance would do. If, if they need to get into a lock and uh, you didn't have a key, maintenance would take a, a die cutter or bolt cutter. In this case, you use a die cutter, side cutter, and ground it off. Um, and uh, the person wanted me to pick this one. They gave me this lock afterwards. And uh, this was a performance pressure on my part. I could open this lock, but she was a very pretty... Um, Young Hispanic girl standing right next to me, watching me pick a lock, and, you know, I was trying to impress her, and performance pressure, basically. I couldn't open it, and uh, it's kind of humiliating, but uh, I always kept it to remind me. Well, I also um, want to see what's inside these, so I know you can, like, ground off the, the top post, supposedly, and just tap this off, but what I did is I put it on a bench grinder on the coarse side, and uh, I'm grinding basically the first laminate off. Now it's a good idea. I just did this a little while ago. Cut off this plastic because it's going to start smelling and burning. Anyways, I'm going to continue this. I'll stop this video right now because you don't want to hear all the grinding sound and all that stuff. And it's not a good idea to grind on your uh, dinner table. But hey, that's all I got. I'm going to live in a small apartment. So I'm going to grind this off, and uh, when I get it um, ground off, I'll show you what's inside. But it should just be a little core. It'll be something to play with. Basically, the lock was already destroyed, and um, if I take that out, then I can just play with the, the lock itself. So that's what I'm doing, and um, I'll show you when I get it finished. Hello again. So... I ground out that first laminate and it popped off. So now, one of the things you got to be cautious with besides wearing eye protection and everything else, uh, when I was grinding one side of the laminate off, it started coming up. I started seeing, you know, that it was coming up. On one side it was free on one side, so I started hitting. Oh, also these things get very hot uh, when you're grinding this much. It gets very hot. I had a little... Uh, jar of water over here that I uh, immersed it in and uh, don't worry about getting the lock all wet you can put graphite in there and uh, what we see is we have a standard little this is a master lock number three core and it looks like it's crimped in you can see the crimp on the sides over here and to take this apart I'm, I'm probably not going to take it apart because uh, I know there are no security pins and they're just standard pins in there. And this is basically what I was after with this little cord, just to see uh, what it is. And I wanted to see this locking mechanism in here because um, I have this uh, master lock switch set that supposedly you push down. You go through the core here, you know, it's basically a bypass, a, a two step, two tool bypass. That I have never ever had work. I watched those videos I don't know how many times and it's never worked for me. But that um, little tool um, works really well as a probe uh, for doing bypasses, reaching in there. It's pretty strong. It'll reach in and, and get other type of locks. But I've never been able to get this done. Uh, you really don't need them that much. Oh, something else was different is this little, um, they cut down the dimensions of the, uh, the warding here just to accept this little plastic on the end. So you could probably just chisel off the heads of these rivets and get the same thing done, but, uh, I had my grinder, and, uh, there we go. That's, uh, that's what you got inside is a little core, and now I've got something to mess around with because... Uh, I've never seen the inside of one of these, you know. 
and I was looking on YouTube and looking for videos on how to take them apart. I couldn't find anything. Um, here's your little shackle spring. It gives this guy a little oomph when he goes up. Well, there you go. I've got me a little uh, Master Lock core to play with. This is a lot easier to carry around with you and pick if you want to pick. And you don't have to carry this heavy sucker right there. And uh, so there you go. That's that's one little project that I've been working on for a bit. And I finally finished today. So I'm just trying to get things accomplished. Uh, and uh, now I have a little educational piece. It was already destroyed. It wasn't going to be able to be used to lock other than just picking. So why not take out this little core? And you can carry that around in your pocket like change. Probably weighs like. I don't know, four quarters, it doesn't, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. And then if you're in an emergency and you need something to pick and you need to pick it real quick, there's your little master lock core. I know, I'm crazy, but that's the way it goes.